What's up, Monero fam? Welcome back to another installment of Monero News. My name is Matt. I'm Chill. Together, we are the founders of the Open Economy Initiative. And uh, yeah, recently I was in the friggin' Denny's parking lot trying to sink my Monero wallet. Um, phone batteries at 5%. Mother-in-law keeps calling me. Phone's about to die. And I was just like, God, I where, where is the solution? I need some help with this. Uh, and then magically, the next day, I found this bounty uh, for reducing the wallet sync times by about 50 to 70%. And I was like, hell yeah, let's do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so let me, let's, we're, we're going to share with you a little bit about that. Let me pull my screen up here. And uh, yeah, this is from Seth implementing view tags to decrease the wallet sync times in Monero. Thank God. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, apparently UKOEHB as Monero community researcher, I guess, found a way to decrease the wallet sync and scan times by up to half or a little bit over half. Um, and, you know, no drawbacks, no privacy loss. I guess there's a one byte view tag that you add to it. Um, but yeah, all, all I heard was reducing sync times by 50 to 70%. Um, and I got very, very, very excited um, about that. And I want to give a special shout out and thank you to Seth who offered five Monero uh, towards this um, implementation. And then Cake Wallet um, offered an additionally an, another 10. So they matched the five plus it added another five. So, I mean, we have an amazing community. Um, also the same day, Vic um, tried to uh, also sponsored Justin, um, uh, the Monero developer, the, I call him our bug hero because he found the bug, the Monero bug. Um, so, um, and he did, but it, the fund ended up uh, being sent to the general fund. So <laughs> he said, don't drink and donate kit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just super grateful that, you know, we have such an amazing community. I'm super grateful that the sync times are going to go down by half. <laughs> and you and, don't have to stand at the Danny's <laughs> parking lot. <laughs> right, right. And also, yeah, the community is pretty cool or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so I was recently part of a virtual bar fight between <laughs> Monero and uh, Bitcoin. Um supporters i'm just kidding no it was actually a very civil <laughs> and intellectual discussion where uh, we had some very open-minded bitcoiners and very open-minded monero supporters who wanted to discuss you know the pros and cons and the, how these two technologies complement one another and it's a real it has been recorded so um, i'm going to post a link in the description box below if you want to listen to it uh, but most most likely there's going to be a, a panel discussion at Guns and Bitcoin uh, um, next year in 2022 around the Bitcoin Miami conference. Uh, and then we're going to have a couple of um, Monero enthusiasts such as Seth um, and some other folks in the panel and as well as some uh, Bitcoiners. And then they can kind of discuss the, um, the pros and cons intelligently without trolling, without this is a shit coin and, you know, attacking right. one another. So I think this is, this is truly a, a, a positive um, move toward in the right direction, you know, like opening the lines of communication in a very. Absolutely. 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 Okay. All right. This sounds like a pretty cool uh, panel. What uh, what would be your dream panel for representing the Monero community, Chill? Ooh, this is a tough one because we have so many people. But um, I mean, we already have Seth, you know, who is you know highly technical. He's he has this one million IQ, um, and um, you know he's going to be able to um, cover anything technical related. And then um, I would really like someone like Justin <laughs> because he says things that, uh, you know, 
or no nonsense kind of like, you know, any idiot can use Monero. And Seth is just too sophisticated to say stuff like that. <laughs> but and Justin gets away with all <laughs> away with it. He's got this special skill that just it makes it sound funny and <laughs> right. Justin can tell you like, oh, you're dumb, and you'll be like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, we have lots of good people, a lot, lots and lots of good people who could, you know, very smart people that yeah. I, I could be sitting here and naming them all day. So, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. I mean, you got Doug, you got Vic, um, Art, what you, Arctic Mine. I mean, there's Arctic lots. Mine, I mean, Geonic, Rotten. Um, oh, my An- God. I mean, it's just Andres. So uh, Andres. Andres. Yeah, yeah. So there's we got a we got a like we got a big pool of people to to pick from. Uh, for Monero sure. is a people millionaire project. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Let's see here. What do we got next? Okay. So if uh, let's see here, Monero Topia is our next item. Let me share my screen here. Um, so yeah, if you're going to be in Miami around April seventh uh next year <laughs> from 10 a.m until we get kicked out i didn't see that before that's great um you can get shipwrecked uh at monero topia uh and it is equal parts conference and chill at a private location within walking distance from bitcoin uh miami um if you want to come and talk about monero privacy tech just th- talks themed around liberty with q a there's going to be a dj um, some speakers, booths, and a cash Monero bar. Um, come hang out. Grab your ticket here. Literally go to monerotopia.com to get your ticket. And let me play. Let me play this video. Nice. That makes me want to go to Monerotopia. It's been a while since I've been at a beach. I need some beach in my life. Warm weather and all that good stuff. But uh, but yeah, make sure you check out Monerotopia April 7th. If you're going to be in Miami for whatever reason, probably the Bitcoin conference, grab your ticket and uh, hang out with some awesome Monero folks. All right. So what you had an update about Haveno Chill? Yeah, they have a new, a new set of bounties, which is exciting. Um, so um, they are starting to build the Havenos API. Ooh. <laughs> so um, it's a freedom API for private money. Um, and I'm truly excited about this platform. You know, um, there were so many attempts to delist and vilify and uh, uh, censor Monero. Um, and yet, you know, we keep turning compost into <laughs> fertilizer and XMR is just 10 steps ahead, right? Because every other coin is reliant on centralized exchanges and we already have the atomic swaps and we're going to have uh, the amino deck. So it's, it's just, I'm just excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. I, I've been uh, watching Havana pretty closely, mostly because you have been promoting them to me, but it seems like people are starting to, um, kind of realized like, hey, these guys are building some real useful things and they seem like a solid team. So, you know, let's check them out. So yeah, it's always exciting to see uh, see a project that you like and want to see success, find some of that success. So yeah, good job, y'all. Keep it up. Haveno, we love you. Yeah, yeah. And then last uh, but not least, um, obviously we invited Untraceable next week, which I'm excited to kind of, connect with him um haven't seen him since vegas since the one <laughs> since the monero party um and i can't i want i want to hear his opinion because i do not use secret network um and uh apparently there has been a 45 percent increase in a little over three weeks uh which they already have like 3.4 million uh, worth of monero on secret network and it, this is like keeps increasing so i'm like i, I want to I want to get his expert opinion as a user, right? Um, and see, you know, just kind of pick his brain and, um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I I will 
be there for that one as well. I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, I have to come clean. I haven't used the secret network, but I bought their coin because of number go up and, uh, I'm very, I, I need to, I need to know more about them. So this is be a great opportunity to, uh, yeah, pick untraceable's brain. Cause I know he knows his stuff when it comes to that and, uh, yeah, see what it's all about. And well, thank uh, you for the confession. <laughs> yeah. we forgive you thank you thank you i needed that i needed that but uh but yeah stay tuned for that we'll make an announcement i'm sure chill will we'll let everybody know um oh we'll and uh james is the winner of the <laughs> pumpkin oh, okay okay all right He's the winner james, of the internet. <laughs> james has won the pumpkin contest where is this this guy right james 405 yeah. or 604 <laughs> <laughs> James 404. <laughs> All right, James, you won the you won the pumpkin carving contest. Good job. I'm still not sure if you like hand carve that or just like use the uh, use some kind of like laser <laughs> laser engraver. But your pumpkin was awesome, and uh, and you won. So congrats, man. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for this week, right, Chill? Yep, we are wrapping it. All right, we're wrapping it. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. We're going to keep doing these because we just love producing them. Follow us, like, subscribe, all of that good stuff, or don't. It's not going to change dislike. whether we <laughs> or dislike, <laughs> bury, troll, cancel, whatever you want to do. Go for it. We're going to keep making them. So, uh, yeah, we'll see y'all <laughs> next time. <laughs> oh,